Welcome back. Happy Friday again. Here's a live look in South Haven State Line Road east of the I-55 ramp. So they're having slightly sunnier conditions than we're having down here in Greenville. But again, we're having some cloud cover starting to move in ahead of this system that will be passing over us this weekend. So today is going to be a partly to mostly cloudy day as these clouds will, building, will be building in throughout our day. We'll still have dry conditions and a light breeze. So here's a look again at the winter storm watch. And again, this goes into effect tomorrow evening around 6 p.m. and will expire around that same time for Sunday evening. And the areas that are affected are the northernmost towns in Mississippi closest to the Tennessee state line like Olive Branch, South Haven, Holly Springs. Most of Tennessee is under this watch along with portions of eastern and northeastern Arkansas. So here's a look at your satellite and radar graphic. These are the clouds that have been moving in within the last couple of hours. And again, we'll continue to see this cloud cover building in throughout today. So current temperatures have gradually been warming up into the 40s. We're at 37 now here in Greenville, but Greenwood is still at 40, 36 in Batesville, 41 in Monticello and in Monroe. The highs for today will be in the upper 50s to the low 60s range with towns further to the south getting into the mid 60s. So we're going to be a couple of degrees cooler today than yesterday due to those two week cold fronts that moved in yesterday evening and the second one that moved in overnight. So the lows for tonight will be in the 40s and that's due to the warmer air that's going to be moving in later on for today and during the overnight hours. So low 40s to upper 40s for the overnight lows across the region, although Yazoo City could possibly get to 50 overnight. And then the highs for your Saturday ahead of the cold front will be in the 50s. So once that front starts to move in, these temperatures will be dropping out of the 50s into the 40s and continuing to fall as the day goes on and heading into the nighttime hours, of course. So looking at your future tracker, we have these easterly winds moving in. Then they're going to shift to become southeasterly throughout the day, and then they'll eventually become southerly, southeasterly. And we'll have this low pressure system moving in over us for tomorrow morning. We'll have some showers moving in along with the front and still some rain, some rain occurring behind it. But then by late tomorrow night into early Sunday morning, we'll have this mix of rain and snow moving in across the Delta. So areas closer to the north, like closer to Tennessee, they're going to have some higher accumulations. It's expected to have at least two to four inches of this snowfall amount, while areas to the south, like us here in Greenville, going to have a lesser amount. But again, we will have this mix of rain and snow starting late tomorrow night into early Sunday morning. And so again, totals won't be too high. So of course, nothing is going on for today. It's just going to be dry all day and heading into the nighttime hours. But by the time we get to early Saturday morning, here comes the rain starting to move in and then it'll be building in throughout the day. And then here comes this mix of rain and snow. But again, for the areas that are north of us, their total accumulation amount is expected to be at least two to four inches. But of course, we're going to be keeping you updated if anything changes or if we could see higher amounts down here in the mid and south delta. So now looking at your seven day forecast, still another week of roller coaster temperatures just about because we're going to be around 60 today, low 50s for tomorrow for the high, then cooling off, of course, after the front passes, upper 30s for the high on Sunday could still have that mix of rain and snow going on for Sunday morning. Then Monday is going to be drier and warmer Then warming up some more for Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we'll have some showers returning on Wednesday with another front that'll be moving in and we'll have our high temperatures back in the 40s once again by Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.